Hello, it's time to join me with a clinical review of an intraoral scanner in your wisdom. In this episode, we want to talk about the Smart Panda Scanner. The scanner is the lightest scanner available in the domestic market, and we received a fast scanner in Roxette. Let's see how this intraoral scanner weighs 138 grams and how it works. We saw a scan experience, be comfortable in the work of Rex. Now I want to review the scan of this a product together regarding the implant case. I am interested in their test regarding the last two and uh, two, three months. I wish it was done and they received the PMA. Now what I have to do is open the PMA for a new scan. In fact, it is an order for their downstream work. To get things moving forward, the first step is to open the PMA for them and then follow the scanning steps. Let me explain step by step so we can see the steps together. In cases that have a PMA, the first step in our process is to take the PMA from them. We will use an ergonomic loop from the Lumadent brand, which can provide a suitable image with good ergonomics. The loop has a 3x magnification, and with this loop, I can start the work. To avoid noise, I've turned off the water supply and will open the scalpel to locate and unscrew the screws. Moving to the second unit, I'll turn back. You can open the scanner's access point easily. If kept steady, we can replace the file soon. Just fine. And unscrew the screws to place the crown on the final area. The first unit and now the second unit are turning my head in that direction and here, naturally, I have to say thank you. You can easily open the PMA the Nestler score channel, and for example that hold onto the nest, which will soon be replaced by the final work because we really don't have a place to open it. It's enough to find a way to open the screw and be able to open the screw so that I can oh, ask a dominant question on the final. Okay, in a good position, um, you can see the plane with this spirit, and so what I'm doing is opening up the Steron site, then Steron it again. Well, you have a Teflon tape that needs to be removed normally to access the screw site. Okay. It is crucial that the path remains completely open along my anterior path, ensuring that I can continue the dominant work without any hindrance or obstruction. Now, I will proceed with a meticulous and thorough cleaning of the problematic area, ensuring that all debris and obstructions are removed. And then I will open the PMA ports in conjunction with the previous abutment. It has been two and a half months since the right side was implanted and a little over three months since the left side was implanted. We will continue to monitor both of them Simultaneously today, the screw is not yet fully engaged, but it should open the scoliosis a little. It is very important that you fully open the scoliosis path in this right direction. The screw should sit properly on, uh, on the driver and um, sometimes if you apply too much force like here it is, and the driver isn't fully engaged, it can strip your screw, which is a problem that can be prevented. The second abutment is very good. They cleaned the area and now the area is ready for scanning. This flap. Typically in an implant case, I bring in four pathologists to record. The first pathology is the scan of the upper jaw without the presence of the scan body. The second pathology is the scan of the lower jaw. After that, we will have the scan of the implants along with the scan body which we will go through step by step together. But to ensure you have a better audio experience, I will set the scanner aside and get ready to start the scan. In this phase, I won't need the loop anymore, so let's remove the loop and proceed with the scan. Please bring me a new glove. The patient is being introduced and uh, we are moving forward with the steps. The case is an implant case. And the two teeth we are focusing on for treatment are numbers 12 and 22. A custom abutment is going to be made for it. 
The type of material we are using isn't very important here, but I will go ahead and record the IMAX now. And the color I need is Edo color. Well, the area is ready for the scan. It's giving me a hint and saying that the computer is not connected to direct power. For the scan, as we discussed earlier, you need direct power from me. Let me connect the power and we can proceed with the scan. So I plugged the device into direct current. As you can see, it doesn't work. And without direct current, you can't scan with external power. I can adjust the light here on the panel. I set the light to maximum because we want to work inside the mouth. So I set it to maximum. And now it's ready to scan everything. Remember, when you were scanning alone, you need a retractor so that you can have a more comfortable scanning experience. I use the document. In order to be able to track the texture of the Guna more easily, here is the final scan. And it is ready to scan. The first catalog that I will do is the Sabbath. The scan is different from the above. Let's start together. Thank you very much, society or yourself. Okay, a scan. It gives me an acceptable and fast scan. I rotate the side of this space, which is actually empty, and it is important that the teeth adjacent to the edentulous space are completely healed. The proximal section is your key area in this scan. Areas like this distal section of the last tooth may not be very particular for me, but you can easily do the healing now. I will go back to the palatal and complete the healing. I will come back to the right side. The image recovery is successful and it's progressing appropriately from the proximal areas in the scan. This is my first scan. The first catalog for the upper arch scan. I can now move on to the upper arch scan along with the bite scan. I've checked the file and it's acceptable, so I'm moving on to the next step. The next neighborhood suggests a scan of the lower jaw, so I'll go straight to the lower jaw scan and get it done. What I need in the lower jaw is the buccal surface and the occlusal surface is also palatal. Why? Usually you can have a scan very easily in this area and there's no problem. Because it's my dentist's idea, I don't have any regrets now that all the teeth are completely healed. What I need is a sufficient amount of buccal surface for the bite. I use the dip, not the dip. Well, a little bit. In fact, there are more artifacts in it. Let's bring the teeth closer together. Okay, 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 great, just like that. In this case, I want to see if you can see the cheek tissue in the successful additions. Now, in the rescan, the AI is removing those artifacts. And now I have an acceptable scan from the bottom of my mind. In clinical work, at this point, maybe it will be enough. I'll check the file and go use it. Then I want you to close your mouth. The second one is also very good. We do the bite scan with the same data that is there. The bite scan was done very quickly in the background. You refine it. That is, this is the symbol. And we make sure that it gives an accurate bite scan. And well, fortunately, this is it. The broker is a researcher. Now, in the next phase, I now have three catalogs. The high thought scan, the low thought scan, and the bite scan. What I need is the main thought scan along with the body scan. I'm coming. In the main scan, I need to delete the two areas where I want to have the body scan. I'm deleting this area here and mirroring it to the other side. Preparing this area will help me perform the scan in this area during the next scan. Art, the task we need to do is to attach the scanning bodies. Art, I intentionally want to use two different scanning bodies for this scan. Let me attach them, please. Thank you. This scanning body is the metal nudant. And the second scanning body is the peak nudant.
All right, I'm just preparing the area. And now it's ready for scanning. Let's see how these two scanning bodies perform. I'm starting with the Panda Smart Scanner. The first scanning body is my peak one. And the scan is being done successfully and without any hassle. I want to go back and rescan that dental area. And this is my metal scanning body. Uh, it needs full coverage. There's more difficulty scanning this area here. Based on my previous experience, I think we need to adjust the buccal area. We had a similar issue in clinical work. I'm going to select the area again that I need to scan. Here's a scan of Nina He with some... Yeah, the problem is more based on previous experience, but... I think we need to be a little more careful in the Bakal area. Please separate the original file and delete this file. Once again, if you remember, we encountered the same problem in clinical work. Once again, I will come to the selection of the area where I should scan. He asked me to delete it again. It's good for me to look from above and come here to clean up the area. In the middle and opposite side, let's smooth the scan. Now, for the emergency scan, I, it will be set up properly and this ensures accurate setup. Fortunately, that issue has been resolved. Cropping during the scan ensures more coverage to avoid issues in the final scan. I say for scander? Emergence does that properly in its Sabbath, and this foundation actually guarantees that we can have an accurate Sabbath. Well, fortunately, that issue is gone. A bit of cropping and scanning in this software is key, which should be done with more precision, uh, so that we definitely don't encounter any slack in our scans. Well, I had a good setup here. I need to adjust uh, the different stands and go back to the main scan. I feel that we can achieve a better scan in the canine area, especially at the edge of this uh, setup. Maybe that image needs a bit of uh, improvement. I definitely need to open the scanning body because in the upper scan, the scanning body should be present in the area. I'll use tweezers to carefully and precisely open the scan and now I'll very carefully and slowly finish my scan at this exact point with precision and accuracy. Uh, it was the missile percentage that uh, my scan wasn't accurate but now it has this accuracy a bit in the mischial area, I think it is sensitive to the angle of placement of the tooth in this scanner, and this somewhat challenges the mischial and palatal areas of the upper wisdom teeth. Very well, the scan is complete, and now I will send the file to Labasan. All that remains is to open the scanner and... Let's put our veneers and crowns back in place. I'll seal the area that was cut with composite again and we'll discharge them. Before that, we just need to actually process the file once and wait to see the processes. If everything is okay, then you can definitely discharge us. The processing takes about 30 seconds to a minute. In the meantime, assuming everything is fine, I'll, I'll close the area with, please give me two pieces of Teflon tape and some flowable composite. I use a poor two-piece Teflon tape that I place inside the channel path to seal it so that the composite doesn't want to drop down. After that, we use the composite for the reform. It definitely takes about 48 hours for the crowns to come back and be ready for delivery. Of course, during this 
short period. Uh, I need to return the PMA again, see? So that the space is not empty, see? You can also use the composite to close the europium. Ready? Uh, confirm. Well, in this interval, the file processing is also complete. You can see the file on the system here. I have a scan. In fact, I have to scan it. I can see the surface of your palette. Let's light the files. You just need to check it. And actually uh, the topography of our implants. Absolutely a nice detail from the scan. We have the same implant in our team and it helps the workplace to run efficiently oh, and smoothly. I carefully finalize the file, form, package it, form, and then send it to another light. This game is bad. Manchanker. Very good. We saw the scanner of this plant together with the help of the Panda scanner, the smart model, the most reliable scanner available on the market. And we had a smooth and comfortable scanner experience as you saw. Our scanner went smoothly, whether with the peak scanner or the metal scanner. I had a series of scans. There is a circuit in the proximal areas, especially in the palatal area or interproximal area in the mesial area. In fact, it is a circuit you could say. In fact, the scanning algorithm can be improved in software and in the case of our implant scans, there is also a consideration that we need to consider a wider circuit in the area where we want to scan. Those mirrors that are on, you are correcting and deleting, it should be wider for your scan body record. It is offline, uh, but we had a fast scanner and now with the high precision of the product, my work will definitely uh, be delivered accurately. This way, I can receive a quality result. In conclusion, I want to thank Netvident, the supplier of Panda scanners, and also Mr. Frani for providing the opportunity to record this video. Additionally, thanks to the team for their support in recording this video. Best regards.